as always, guys, we're we're extremely excited to be be playing in the postseason. I'm very proud of the way our players have come on at the back end of the year. We've played well going down the stretch. Played extremely well last week, and I'm proud of the way they've they've performed. So we're looking forward to to having another opportunity to get on the field at the back end of the week. Really didn't. The way things work the last several years, trying to keep people closer to home, with four regionals within driving distance within two hours, uh, you had to figure we were going to be at one of those four. And, uh, we're excited to be there. It's great for our fans. Hopefully that all our folks are able to get tickets and, and be able to get in and see us play in, in Greenville this week. Just kind of break it down. You have ECU uh, that game one. You guys had two great games against them. But you get to throw royalty in game one. It, it changes things up a little bit. Well, it changes things up for both teams, really. I mean, yeah, we've played each other midweek, but we're certainly different uh, on the weekends. Each club is because of your starting pitching. Uh, but position players are the same. And both teams are going to play extremely hard. They're going to play. Uh, to win and you know, hopefully uh, we can play clean defensively and, and continue to do the things we've done offensively in the last month and, and give ourselves opportunity. You know, when you look at our numbers, we're 0-4 against the field. You know, we lost two against Ohio State midweek here after returning on Monday morning. Uh, our guys were kind of sleepwalking on Tuesday against Ohio State, but but they played well against us, so we're looking forward to, to having a chance to, to compete against them as well. You feel like this is a different team, you guys, that maybe even when you played ECU the second time, the way you're playing right now and a championship team now? I definitely think our, our players are playing with much more confidence now. and uh, Different lineup, different group of players, new roles for guys, and roles that our players have accepted and, and run with and done a good job with. So, yeah, I do believe we're, we're a different team at this point than we were when we played either one of those earlier in the year. Being able to see Northeastern get in the field as well, it kind of set a tone of what this committee was trying to look at. Happy for Mike Glavin and, and the young men in that program. They, they had uh, a very talented club, played well all year, deserved to be there, and uh, Excited that they've got an opportunity to come to Raleigh and play in the, in the NC State region. What do you see from these teams that you're facing? Obviously, not full scouting report or anything on it, but just a familiarity over the last couple of years, even with them. Um, what What do you see from them? What kind of matchups will they bring? You get to this time of the year, and and, and the people you're going to have a chance to compete against are. are upper echelon clubs they're you know they're regional caliber teams every year east carolina's been there i don't know 28 times uh, ohio state's been there numerous times south carolina probably more than those combined but we do believe that that we can go in uh, to a regional setting and this one and and play well and come out on top uh, if you didn't believe that you you don't deserve and probably shouldn't be there. What's, what's happened with Greg the last couple of months? From where he started at the beginning of the year, this quiet, timid freshman to a guy who was apparently asking to be in the leadoff spot for that final game. Just growing up, you know, he's matured throughout the course of the year, and you've seen it come on a little bit more, uh, and him be more assertive here toward the back end of the year, and, and be more of a take charge person in the middle which is a bonus for us. It's something we've expected. Didn't know when it was going to come. And I can, I see him continuing to, to grow uh, and have a better understanding of how to play the game, how to be a leader, you know, being in a, in a position on the field where you need to show some leadership. 
and he did a nice job of that last week for us. Did you guys put a little much on him at the beginning of the season, making him the lineup guy, the top guy, and then how has that changed since he's moved down and kind of grown that confidence? We probably did. Uh, even though Greg wanted to be there, probably wasn't quite prepared to handle it. And I don't think he realized the difficulties and, and how tough it is to, to compete at a high level at this level of college baseball um, early in the year. But it started to wear on him, and he began to, to gain a feel and an understanding of what it takes. Um, and like I said, he's matured quickly, like several of our freshmen have. We told us some of them a couple weeks ago said, hey, you're no longer freshman. You, you've been here, you throughout a full season. You guys are sophomores. You have a great feel and understanding of how the game's played and what it takes to compete at that level and at, at the highest level and give yourself a chance to be successful. So uh, we expect you to continue to grow and, and to take on some leadership responsibilities.